And <laughs> it's okay, Leanne. I don't know. It's I okay. thought I was in the right place. Aaron was on chatting with me a little bit and I don't know. I struggle in the mornings sometimes. Shouldn't be that hard, but how are you? How I'm are you? good. How are you? <laughs> I'm I, I'm this, you know. Thanks for the invite. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Are you? Which one are you on now? I'm trying to see on the channel which one you. Okay. Hi, Denise. Oh, I didn't know you could end it and then go back live again. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I still don't know. I ended it because John said it was on the wrong one and then went on the, uh, the only one that was there again. <laughs> so, hi, Kathy. Good morning, everyone. It's okay. Usually we this, it out. usually this is pretty casual, and it's just me, you know, going through my stuff. So, so what's been going on with you? Oh, nothing exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing exciting. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Denise. Hi. You think you it might still be going? What you mean? Okay, some kind of connection problem the first time around. Okay. Yeah. Could have been me, but it could have been something else. I don't know. So I have um, Caroline with me, folks. Um, Caroline Yanstar Girl. I decided kind of last minute. Well, we had talked about it before, but last minute to see if she was available to just hang out with me while I craft. And I'm working on my kitties. Are ya? Yes. I'm making them into the keychains. Oh, great. Those are so cute. These are little hollow kitties. Hi, Jan. Hi, Denise. <laughs> ah, let's see. Let's sort through my stuff here and decide what I'm going to work on. Your package just went out this morning, Leanne. Oh, well, thank you. That's so good. You'll get it soon enough. Oh, yeah. Lately, the first class shipping has been really fast. Yeah, I've noticed that. People are saying, oh, I got my package. And I thought, what? Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. And then I saw Pirate Ship said something about reducing rates. You know... It's kind of true, but then kind of not. Oh, really? Because, like, I thought it would be a little cheaper, but I don't know. I kind of see it, and I kind of don't. Hi, Hi Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah, Caroline, too. I'm going to take these out for now. I think I might be ready to bind my book here. Oh, yeah, that's coming along really good. Yeah, I haven't worked on it since the last live. Um, but oh. I don't think I have. I gotta find a. You remember you sent me that picture of the peg, your peg Mickey? Yes, peg leg Mickey. I have a peg leg Snoopy. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah, but I was playing with them so much I ended up crafting them into something, but I took a picture before I crafted them. Hang on. Oh, funny. I was going to show you. Uh-huh. Oh, that's my that. gosh. That's great. It's a little <laughs> Snoopy. Wow, that's so cute. Very retro looking. It's um actually an ornament from the Republic of China. Oh, wow. Is it wooden? Yeah, it's wooden. Oh, that's neat. Hi, Lorna. How are you? So if you guys haven't heard, what happened was... Lee Ann was talking about having a sale of miniature figurines one day or like a buy it now sale. And she yeah. had all these misfits. Yes. So she texted me a picture of 
her Mickey, and then <laughs> I took a picture of my Snoopy. What was yeah. like missing? If I can find my Mickey, I'll show it now. But um, Kathy, I don't mean to mislead anybody about that statement about um, them reducing rates. Um, I think that means coming up, doesn't it, Caroline? Yeah, it's coming up. And so it hasn't happened yet, and it's through Pirate Ship. I don't know if they worked out a deal with USPS, but specifically with USPS um, sh shipping rates. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, it's so cute. Yeah, he was missing his leg, but otherwise he's awesome. He does have a little spot on his belly, but so uh, I thought, thought, what can I do for a leg? And of course, I just shoved a pin in there. But he he still doesn't stand very well, so I thought I'd try to make a, um, you know, with clay, the air dry clay, I'll make him a little leg. I think she should make him into a pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a wooden pirate leg is what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's funny. He's funny. Anyway, save Mickey. Oh, Bonnie, I just got some Snoopy charms. I'm going to make earrings. It's <laughs> Friday. Oh. That's awesome. Stand them oh, on the mountain. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yep, yep. So I'm always anxious to, I always rush ahead, at least in my mind with projects like this. So, you know, you had this album. Um, I just want to decorate it. I want to get in there and do stuff, but I probably, but I also want to bind the pages. Not sure what I want to do. Is this the Dalmatian one or is this a new one? No, this is one for me to put oh. in my, um, my collection of vintage uh, playing cards, mostly oh. cats. Yeah. So I was trying to make an album for that. I love the cards. So I started getting the playing cards from other resellers and um, and saved them and thought, what am I going to do with them? And so I decided to make an album to put them in. And then I can take them in and out um, as much as I want, you know. Oh, that's a good idea use them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to glue them in. I'm just going to uh, use photo corners and things like that. Or you can make a little pocket. Yeah, pockets. Exactly. So that's what the um, these little guys are for. Gotcha. To make little pockets there or side pockets, different things. So, so yeah, I'm jumping ahead because I want to put these in, but, but I can't yet because I need to finish the pages and get them sewn in. So right now I'm just kind of getting my mind wrapped around it. I think I think I will work on the pages before I try to sew them into the cover. First things first, as they say. Oh, and then I had these awesome. I was going to show everybody these awesome. Oh, oh how cute! Things from this book. That I got cats and cardigans. <laughs> cats and cardigans. Yeah. Hi, Edward. How are you? Hi, Kraken. Oh, Kraken. Hi. I didn't see you. Hello. Oh, how fun is that? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I have had these vintage frames with, you know, usually it's more kind of Renaissance painting looking stuff in it. Um, and so I wanted to put cats in my frames. So I did that. You always find so many different things to do with frames. Yeah. I love a good gallery wall. And for me, you know, it has to be cats. So I don't yes. know where that little mark came from. So weird. Anyway. So yeah, you know, um, Angela has her fancy lady wall, you know, I have my uh, kitty wall. 
but finding the images was tricky at first for me. So I, when I found that book on um, Amazon, I decided to spring for it and um, get that on there. Oh, them. Bonnie, I'll probably try that later on today. <laughs> I can't wait to dig into those cookies. Oh, Bonnie oh. sent me some cookies and treats. I love cookies. In a package. Nice. Bonnie's so sweet. Yes. Well, all our friends are very sweet. All our friends have things to things to offer and give all their love. I know I was watching you guys the other night when you guys were selling and mm -hmm. I always turn you guys on and then I yeah. fall asleep and then I have to <laughs> oh, we put you to sleep. <laughs> no, it's, I know it's, it's just relaxing. You know? I, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, really, Kathy? Somebody was selling that book? I would have bought it from them if I'd known. Nice. Oh, Miss Pat. Oh, yeah. Miss Pat ha does have a lot of books. I've been looking for something just perfect. For a while. Oh, Bonnie, you're so sweet. <laughs> I always feel so awkward when people send me things. It's so nice. But oh, my no, gosh. Not Bonnie necessary. Has Bonnie has the best packages. Does she? Yes. Oh, it's like, it's like a subscription box. That's the best way. I oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. That's too much, Bonnie. That's too much. I don't, I don't ever expect things like that. Uh, but I know that's part of it. It's a nice surprise. It's not expected. Some people, I've seen some people do this tearing technique or cutting, cutting slash tearing technique where they use a ruler and they put it down. And sometimes the ruler, they'll make a ruler out of a plastic one where you can cut into it. So it makes it irregular. But they just, they just put it here and then they just rip it. So I'm going to try that. So it just gives you, of course, the ruler moved a little bit on me, but it gives you a little rough edge instead of the straight scissor edge. I think when someone knows you're a crafter, everyone likes to share crafts. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I've sent you, you things and yeah, exactly. I find things out there and think of certain people. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. What do y'all in the chat like to, to craft? I'm curious what everyone likes to work on. What feeds your soul? Oh, that's the fun part, Bonnie. <laughs> Your daughter never knows what to expect. Is today your day off for noodle? No, I do have noodle at one. So that's in what, two hours? Noodle, noodle. Noodle. <laughs> He's a silly boy. He needs his potty break in the midday. How did they ever come up with that name? I don't know. I He's actually the second noodle I've known. 
the first one really? was, yeah the first one was a pug and um i used to babysit him at my house in seattle before i before pandemic time You know, there's before pandemic and after pandemic times now for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, it's still happening. I just heard there's the um, the new booster for elderly and immunocompromised people that I'll need to get for my dad. I'll take him to get that shot. I'm surprised they don't go to him. Well, they do for some things. Oh. He does have a regular blood draw that he has to have for his blood thinner. So they do come out for that. But, um, and, and for a while, I guess there were some local pharmacies that were coming out to do like the first few vaccines. They would come out to the, the facility where he lives. But, um, yeah, usually I have to take him for things. Well, then it'll be a field trip. Yeah. Kathy works on anything and everything. I know. You are a creative one. I love your ideas. I have told you. I love it when you share your ideas with us and... I'd, I'd love to get you on a live like this and see what you're working on, too. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Where, I know I have an eraser somewhere. Where is my eraser? Um, there it is. I tried to get organized. I got these little drawers I picked up thrifting. I think they're meant for jewelry, but they're they're like um, some kind of acrylic drawers. Oh, nice. Yeah, a little set of drawers. And so I found black and I found some clear ones. Hi, Kathy. Picasso cat. Hi, Picasso cat. How are you? Hopefully everyone who wanted to find me could find me. Had some technical difficulties at the start. But we're good now. I have Caroline visiting. Yes. <laughs> Had to bring some kitties. Yes. Hello, kitties. Oh, now my cat's going to join the party. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Christine, how are you? I've missed seeing you. Yeah, she does what she wants. This one. She's going to sit on my desk and groom. Here's one of my dolls. And I'm trying to work on the head right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, your cat wants a craft, too. That's what Kathy said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Christine, I know. They can keep you so busy. Well, I'm glad you're spending time with them, of course. That's awesome. Not sure I'm gonna use these. Just been playing with some of my new Timu supplies. So that's where these little ticket things have come from. Oh, those are big. Yeah. Let me show you how they come. I don't know if you've seen these. I've seen people order stuff from there and it's like so small as a thimble. Yeah. These are norm I think normal ticket size. Yeah. So, yeah, there's quite a few in here. I have quite a, quite a variety as well. 
Oh, is that right, Kathy? They're cutting them off now. There was a Parkinson's medication that um, they were recommending for dad that would be once a day rather than seven times a day or five times a day. But um, his insurance wouldn't cover very much of it. It was still going to be like over $200 a month. So they suggested that we contact the company itself that sometimes they, that if you do that, they'll basically give you or subsidize your cost. But I, I never did go through with that. I wonder if that's what's being cut off. Things like that. Maybe companies have decided they can't afford to do that anymore. I don't know. All right. So put those away and get back to my task at hand, which is this album. Oh, Kathy, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, I have my fourth in the cart. I haven't um, sent it. I'm trying to decide if I really do need it or not. <laughs> I have a lot to work with. So, I have a lot to work with right now. Plenty of washi. I have more washi tape coming from you. I'm excited. I like to have oh, more yes. washi. Okay. There's so many things you could do with washi tape. Yeah. Definitely. Hello, Anna. Hi, Anna Mora. Oh, oh me. That's straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I got to figure out the hair. Oh, yeah. That's, That's the hardest my, part. My to-do list is get, um, is try to make some dolls with those doll heads, those wooden doll heads and some others. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do with your doll heads? I don't know. <laughs> you could always make them into ornaments. True. Yes, I could. That's probably what I'll end up doing because, you know, I love making ornaments. Uh, it's almost Christmas in July. I'm already ramping up. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I haven't even thought about it. That's I've, only, I've only started crafting, though. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing for half a ween, Christine? Ooh. What am I doing, Macy? Oops, this would make a good pocket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Picasso cat says she's out of control. She thinks she'll unsubscribe when she gets her last order. <laughs> I would be surprised if they let you do that, if you can actually unsubscribe. I think you just, just sign out of it. Then. Sign out of it, yeah. So you don't get unsubscribe. Yeah, they send you messages every day, I'm sure. They do. Oh my goodness, they do. Yeah, it's a lot. But I've noticed other websites do that too. Like they, oh, you left something in your cart. You better go back mm -hmm. and before it's sold yeah. out. It's marketing. Oh my goodness, you are too much, Christine. Well, hello, Jean. 
Hello. I don't think we've met before. Hi, Bo. <laughs> yeah, you buy more and more. That's what they want. Hey, Bo. <laughs> How are you? Jean, are you a crafter as well? What's your thing? What do you like? Leanne, is that real birds in the background? No, I have oh. my Amazon Alexa playing <laughs> some birds. I was like, whoa, I haven't heard birdies in a long time. Yeah, we do have similar sounding birds outside, but, um, you know, can't hear them through the window. So. All right, now my erasers hit the floor because the kitty is playing with it. This will work if I make a pocket here and a pocket here, and then I can tuck some cards in. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I never would have thought of something like that. That's a good idea for uh, photo cards. I have a weird obsession with uh, um, K-pop bands. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's weird. Sugar was on uh, Jimmy Kimmel last night, or no? Yes, um, Jimmy Allen. I have to rewatch that. Yeah. Well, this is how my project's going right now. I have a fluffy butt on my stuff. <laughs> if somebody needs some attention this morning. What am I going to do? You looking for another rubber band? Oh my gosh. I, you know, I watch those, um, those vet shows sometimes on TV. And recently they were removing a string from a cat. Like it got wrapped around their tongue and then oh. it went down their intestines and it was bunched up in their intestines and I had to do surgery. <laughs> Poor guy. I know. And I was like, luckily there was no like needle or anything. Cause sometimes that that's the case, but um, yeah, it, it makes me, makes you think, you know, like there's so many things around the house that a cat can get into. Um, most cats aren't going to be eating the entire string and then also getting it wrapped around their tongue. Um, yeah. But Yeah. Gotta be careful sometimes. So. Well, unless it had some food on it or something, you know what I mean? Right. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was a pretty sick little kitty. We were probably just in time that it perforated the, the uh, intestine. So if that had wow. gone a couple more days, they might have gone septic. Yeah, poor guy. Let's stay out of the string, little dude. Have you always owned cats? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably since I was born. <laughs> I saw a video this morning of a, uh, this lady. She had two twin babies, 
one baby was you know how they have on the on the counter you have a little chair you could put your kid on yeah well one one kid stayed in the chair and then the cat hopped into the chair oh my gosh and started cradling itself next to the little kiddo oh my god I, you so know it's not cute. familiar like maybe i saw that hmm. i think it was like a short or something mm -hmm. yeah yeah probably it's a 10 and a quarter Let's see if i can cut a few of these at once and save myself time Excuse me, Macy. Somebody said you're a beautiful kitty. You are. <laughs> She's a torty tabby with white. So she has the torty and the stripes from the tabby. And then she has white on her paws and her muzzle. Okay. Does she do that when you're spelling? Not usually. She has made some appearances. I'll be kicking her off here pretty soon, I think. Ten and a quarter, Macy. Ten and a quarter. Her name's Macy, by the way. One of my daughter's friends named her when they were... In middle school, Macy is like 13 now. Uh, Leanne, you got a question. Does oh. the cutter cut the fabric? No, the cutter will not cut fabric as far as I know. I've never tried it. I usually use a rotary cutter for that, like and a self-healing mat. Okay, I just dropped my lip gloss in my coffee. Uh -oh. I need a larger workstation, I think. Um, I use a rotary cutter like this for fabric. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, Jean. That's the only reason I could think of that a cat would eat a thread. Like a very long thread. <laughs> and the funny thing was, you know, the owner's like, I don't know what's wrong with my cat. And you know, then they found the string around the tongue and then they cut that off and said, there's probably more string down below. We can wait and see if it passes. And of course it didn't pass and the cat really wasn't improving. And then anyway, they do the surgery and then she's like, so they discover the, well, when they discovered the string, she's like, oh yeah, I saw some string in the house and thought it was, you know, in the wrong place. And I was like, oh my, okay. All right. You can't keep an eye on your cat all the time, I guess, but you can try to keep your stuff cleaned up, but meh. what are you going to do? You never know what the cat's going to get into. Okay. I know that, um, that curling ribbon that we use at Christmas time sometimes, um, can be dangerous. Also, if they eat that. All right, really? It's still, oh, well. Oh, didn't they get into your tree last time? <laughs> oh, well, that, yeah, they always do something with the tree. Yeah, knock things off. Yeah. All right, niece, here we go. We're going to put this in, doing it. Yeah, I think my cutter, this cutter is specifically for, for paper. It's like scrapbooking. I think Fisker sells one that is for, um, cutting fabric oh neat okay
They make a lot of good products, that's for sure. This little scissors I'm using are Fiskars, and my rotary cutter is. So would you be doing this if I hadn't invited you, Caroline? Would you be crafting right now? Probably and making a huge mess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you craft, you have to have everything at your hands. Yeah. And so it all gets in the way and accumulates. Yeah. But after I'm done with this, I'll probably pack some more orders. Yeah. Yeah. I have a couple more to go to the post office today. But I think I'm almost done for the week. But I'm ready to craft Halloween stuff. That's what I'm really oh. itching to craft. Right. It's hard to work on this with you sitting here, Macy. She's keeping the pages warm. <laughs> yeah. Trying to do everything I can before without moving her. Eventually, I'm going to have to move you. Like right now, probably going to have to move you. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't seem to understand me. She's probably waiting for a treat. Yeah, something. I'm waiting for something. All right. I think I might want to back this because it's kind of thin. Some plain paper. Starting stock. Yeah. Probably just have to put them in a box. That's what I'm guessing. fun plans this weekend, Leanne? Um, <laughs> um, no. I'm laughing because I don't usually make fun plans. I Maybe that's what I need to do to have more fun in my life. How about you? What's going on with you? Mm, probably just cleaning and going hunting for a donut. Oh, going on a donut hunt. <laughs> I always look for donuts. Nice. <laughs> Do you go to different places? Is that what you mean? Or... Yeah, I try to go to different places that I can yeah. find that has donuts. And which ones taste the best till I can find one that I can stick with. <laughs> Do you do any social media content with that? Because that seems like it would be fun. To do. Uh, sometimes. Nice. Sometimes I make a little, like a little short video. Mm -hmm. Do like an achievement. <laughs> Cause it's my only treat I have once a week. Yeah. It's your, um, your guilty pleasure. Would that be something you'd call a guilty pleasure? I don't know. You don't have to feel guilty about it, but I 
think I think a lot of people can relate and live vicariously through you. <laughs> oh, okay, half boxes inside a bigger box. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, if there's multiples, right. You, it's not as simple as throwing them in a box. You need to make sure they don't crash into each other. Yeah. Or you could always make them. Um, uh, if you're sending more than one, I find the... Oh, what are those? The mailers that are hard cardboards that are like for comic books. Oh. Like if they're light. flat. I don't know if a headband. Depends on how 3D the headband is. Oh, that's a good tight fit. Oh, well, how am I going to get this on here? One thing about keychains is you can also use them for ornaments, just hanging, you know, hanging around your house on a tree. I was thinking, of course, my kitty tree that I usually like to do. Oh, yeah, that tree you made was really fun. Yeah. I even put brooches and salt and pepper shakers on it. I love that idea with the salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. That was so cute. Thanks. Oh man, these are so cute. I don't know if I can sell it now. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Because I put a little star on it. Aw. They're great. How are oh, how did you attach the little um the the eyelet? The eyelet, yeah, I just screwed so, it in. I used a Dremel mm -hmm. and I drilled a hole into the figure and then oh, I put okay. it in and you screw it in. Only problem is you have to be very careful because depending on the size of the eyelet in the hole, if you mm -hmm. screw the eyelet into the figure too hard, the eyelet will break off. Oh, okay. Into the figure. Right. But if you guys ever have any toys laying around, <laughs> that's what you could do is make a keychain. <laughs> Right. Or ornament. Oh, this one's cute. She's dressed up in an ice cream cone. Ice cream cone. Yes, I love ice cream, even though it kills me. Oh, the, the dairy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's worth it, though. Yeah, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. See. She loves the ice cream cone. Oh, so cute. She's an ice cream cone. With a little bear. That's sweet. I'm having a mental block here. A map of the donut shop. Oh my gosh, Kathy, if I did that, you would go all oh, over town. That's a good idea. I like that. Give reviews on donuts. Oh, that would be a fun job. Mm hmm. But I'm very picky on donuts because. My parents used to cook a lot, so you can taste, so they taught us to taste certain things. So sometimes you can taste when um, a donut has been fried in the same 
batch with another donut. Oh, yeah. Did your parents run a restaurant or something? Yes. Oh, okay. So my dad had a restaurant many, many years ago, way before I was even alive. And he, he had a restaurant and then he would go around to other restaurants and help them out once he retired. Oh. Uh -huh. And then my mom used to waitress and, and cook and all kinds of stuff and run around different restaurants too. Mm -hmm. So they're always talking about food and that's why I always talk about food because that's what we grew up talking about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, Kathy, she could be an influencer for uh, donut shops. For donuts? <laughs> yeah. That would be very interesting. Yeah, it might, you know, if it's something you're doing anyway, I guess you could justify doing it, spending the time on it. If, you, if it might result in a, some kind of sponsorship or something, right? That would be very interesting. You could get your donuts paid for that way. <laughs> I know, right? That's why I'm very mm -hmm. picky on my donuts, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was a cook in college for a little while at my university. Ooh. Did a short order cook kind of thing, too, Kathy. And I worked at a pizza restaurant for a while. That must have been fun. Yeah. It was called Gatos, G-A-T-T-O-S, which I think is cat in Italian. If I'm remembering right. What's your favorite food you used to make there? Pizza. Mm. <laughs> um, it was a pretty simple menu at that place. We did have sandwiches like that you'd put in the pizza oven. Calzones are my favorite. There's not a lot of places that make calzones. Yeah, we made calzones there. Mm. Those were great. Those are those are probably up there on my favorites list. Yeah. Oh, Kathy, what did you like making?
Oh, that sounds good. Do they have any uh, good festivals by you, Leanne? Festivals. Well, yeah. Um, I get, don't they have a cherry blossom festival by you? I wouldn't be surprised, but I can't think of one for sure. Um, mm -hmm. There's a strawberry festival in a town just north of me. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, back when I was in roller derby, we play. We um, were in that parade, just uh, you know, just skating along, kind of promoting our skate league. That's cool. Yeah, this is a cute tag that um, Kathy made and sent. Me. <gasps> oh, That's Kathy true. always makes the best stuff. Oh, that is so cute. That's sweet. Is it like an old picture? Yeah. It looks like it's been printed on linen paper. Oh. And then layered on this little tag. The little button and some ribbon. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Now that would be a fun like Christmas card or I'd rather get a card like that than a regular green card. Oh definitely. I mean I think it's like, like a cat head on top of a photo of a girl. Oh, I should make you into a paper doll. <laughs> Did you ever see those? Yeah, where you take people's heads and... Yeah, I did that for Bridget. I don't think I've ever done that for you. I have to dig that out. Nice. I'm... Uh, just doing it on your computer kind of thing? No, so... How would you do that? Aaron Proctor, um, he was selling paper dolls. Yeah. And they're like huge oversized dresses. So all I did was um, I took it, someone, they, you guys send me the image of you mm -hmm. that you want on the as the head. And I go and I print it at like, you know, Walgreens or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I just attach it to a paper doll. Dress. Oh, neat. It's really fun. That does sound fun. I was going to do a, like a whole grouping of a lot of people. And then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, these are all my peeps that I work with. But then I ended up giving it away because they're so, just too fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, Kathy says every area of Ohio has a festival going on almost year all year long. Yeah. Wow. We oh we have a um lavender festival. Maybe that's or there's also a tulip festival. Oh wow, a lavender yeah. festival? Yeah, the lavender one I really like. Um, oh, I wonder if they make lavender ice cream. Probably. No doubt. Or lavender gelato. That's that's one gelato ice cream that's hard to find. Yeah, that's a good one too. We had a, I think it's still around, a cupcake shop called um, Cupcake Royale, and they had lavender cupcakes there that were very good. 
Oh, yum. <laughs> it was right across the street from where I worked for five years. So that was tempting. Oh, I every, bet. Every day. Yeah. Wow, Lavender Farm. That's awesome. You gonna travel anytime soon, Leanne? Um, I'm trying. We're trying to work out the schedule so we can go to um, take a road trip to LA to see Ooh. my daughter. Oh yeah, that's right. And um, so probably July, end of July. That sounds fun. Yeah. I need to bring her her Christmas tree. <laughs> It's too expensive to ship, so I decided, we thought, well, maybe by next Christmas we'll make a road trip down there. It's no. not too far, is it? No, it's not. That's nice. It's uh, it's just one overnight. On You know, we could drive it straight through, but it would be a very long day. So we would split it up into two days. I know sometimes I wish the northern part of the U.S. was closer to Texas. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, at least it's central to the U to the two coasts. So I guess we're so far from the East Coast that, you know, unless you were really into driving, you would have to fly. To get anywhere so i haven't seen a lot of the east coast because i've always lived on the west coast i don't think i've ever been over to the east coast Shoot. besides new york i forgot to take this off oh that's neat kathy yeah that's the way to do it if you're gonna have a farm to do um the events that draw draw attention, generate revenue. in LA have you ever been to that uh Japanese town no that sounds neat I think oh I can't remember if it's LA or well, there's it might be because there's so many things like that there's Koreatown and yeah you know um little Philippines or I don't know there's all kinds of things there like that and they they really um it's really fun because you can experience different cultures right there in the city. My friend Bo always tells me about the markets out there. Yeah. Year round too. I mean, yeah. the weather is so mild. Yeah. The, um, Guess we'll be fine. The oh, my daughter lived in Koreatown or just out on the outskirts of it. Oh, really? Last year, yeah. When she first moved to LA, that's where she lived. It's um, there's a hot um, nightlife in that area. Oh, I bet a lot of people come from other parts of the city. What did you find to make noise with? 
paper. <laughs> yeah. She did. She found some paper. Oh, what is going on with my brain? I'm having so much trouble today. <laughs> I'm just figuring out what I'm doing. It's a process. <laughs> That's why it's like I'm working on so many projects at one time. Mm -hmm. I just really have to feel inspired. But I watch these other, you know, paper crafters and I just see them like easily going from you know, one idea to the next and right. I just, I'm struggling. No, please. No cat. No, no cat. No, Macy. No, I, maybe she's trying to help me or maybe it's all selfish. <laughs> yes, probably, probably selfish. She just wants to have attention. I'm not sure if I want to do some inking on this page. Let's just get creative. I know it's supposed to be fun and just creative outlet. Put that right next to that other page. I didn't mean to. Oh, you could maybe age it. Yeah, with the ink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one gal I watch. Um, I think it's Gail something. Sorry, Gail. I don't remember. Southern Vine? Starts with an A, but she does a lot of inking on her junk journals. Oh, I bet you that'll be beautiful, Kathy. Yeah, it's amazing to go to those big lavender farms and just just be there with the sunshine and all the plants and the, and the bees that buzz around. It's like a little... Um, It's like a little zen place to hang out. Sorry, did I already ask you if you have any weekend plans? Oh, yeah, you did. You said oh, donut shop. Donut yeah. shop. That's all I can think of. Maybe craft a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, or work on the yard. Oh, yeah. Although That's I learned I can't sit outside for a long time. <laughs> oh. Because of allergies, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I did that last weekend and then I couldn't see for the next day. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay. That's why I still have masks <laughs> so I can wear them outside. Oh it's yeah. It's so dusty here in Texas. Oh yeah, definitely. I 
Oh yeah, I wear masks at the post office and everywhere there's humans. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. I just don't have a problem with it, so. <laughs> yeah, I think you, wear a mask, you don't have to worry about makeup. <laughs> there's that, yeah, for sure. That's great, Kathy. Well, I'm making a random mess of this, but junk journaling is about using what you have, right? Yes. That's okay. Oh, wow. That must be gorgeous. Oh, that's turning out really good, Leanne. Yeah, it's amazing what a little ink can do to kind of pop yeah. things. Just gotta let myself play. I, I don't often let myself just play with these things. I think I worry too much about how it's going to turn out. And that's why I'm trying to make myself craft more often and try new things. Well, and if you can only do so much on one project, then move on to the next. True. Yeah, if one isn't working, just go yeah. on to the next. Yeah. That's what I usually do because I can't work on just one project unless I have all the supplies. Yes. I was looking online last night trying to figure out if I wanted to make alcohol inks. Have you ever done that? Oh, no. You can take dried up markers and put them in either isopropyl alcohol or there's another one that I saw being used and you can um, make you know either sprays or little droppers of oh. alcohol ink that you can put on paper spray on paper probably on fabric as well but this one gal was using it on photo paper and it turned out really neat and then you can use that for your paper crafts, your junk journaling and cards and things. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I know I was, I was, uh, I saw a guy use, you know how everyone has a pen and your pen always runs out. Uh huh. So he took apart the pen and he used a pen as the stem of the doll. So he took a piece of wood, oh. made a hole, took oh. the pen, the leftover pen, and drilled it into the wood. And then he used that as a stand to hold up the dowel. I was like, oh, that's a good oh, idea. Yeah. I love upcycling and, you know, using things that would otherwise be trash. Yes. That's great. Because there's so much that people dispose of daily. Yes, exactly. Well, that sounds great. Sunflowers. You know, there are some flower fields in um, West in Eastern Washington that, because my daughter went to college over there, they had these big flower fields and they would um, often have, you know, different sororities or different groups come in for photo shoots like that. 
And I think that's a great idea because they are some, there's some beautiful places where they're pr producing those beautiful flowers and to be able to also, um, you know, again, generate a revenue stream if you're paying to come on the property or even if you're not, just have it be something that's available to the public. That's really neat. No. Dang it. Oh no. What I, just, I just didn't line it up where I wanted it before I started pressing it down. It's okay. Oh, just put a piece of ribbon over it. Yeah, exactly. There's always a fix. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh, I found these the other day at the thrift store. I think they're the cutest oh. little wooden bowls. Those are so cute. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use them for like put crystals in and then little rocks, gems. They're so cute. They mm -hmm. feel like they need a little bit of oil or something. They feel really dry and rough. So I'm going to. Yeah. That's actually a big thing right now. People put crystals and herbs and stuff yeah oh uh, i saw um who did i see i saw a crafter take old salt pepper shakers the clear ones and they put their own mixture of glitter into those shakers oh i was like oh that is gorgeous could you imagine it's just like jars and jars of glitter yes how fun yeah, make your craft area really pretty with that kind right? of thing. Yeah. Let's see what I can do with my washi tape. I have this little area I wanted to cover. Do I? Maybe I'm going to ink it instead. Oh, yeah. Photo shoots in, in parks where it's free. Yeah. People even have weddings in parks. Cat's lurking again. Oh. She's thinking about it. She's just thinking about a treat. That's what it is. I don't know. Maybe. You know? Maybe. She does get cold, so sometimes she wants to cuddle up or just be the center of attention. John has the same problem with her coming up on his desk when he's working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do remember, Leah, when you used to uh, come into the chat, your cat's butt would sit on the keyboard. <laughs> yes, I've had that problem, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or like you'd walk away for a second and she'd be typing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Kathy, she hears me talking and she's like wanting the attention. Mm-hmm. He hears me. Right, let's go ahead and ink the edges. I 
How's it, how's it coming along? I'm working on several projects. Ah, uh, yes. Not just one, several. Mm -hmm. This off camera here. What time is your show? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow with um, Mark Michael and Mark. Oh, they're both going to be on? I think so. I think he said Michael will be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. He must have a day off. Yeah, maybe. You'll have fun. They're so sweet. Yes. They are darling. Yeah, it's at um, 3 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Sabrina won't be able to join us, but because um, she's out of town. Yeah, but, I saw that the other day. Yeah. Well, she's okay. I was going to be on her channel. We had a last minute rearrange. Yeah. <laughs> oh thanks john john helps me with my my technical stuff i probably wouldn't be able to do this without him It was um, her, hopefully I'm okay with sharing this, her um, husband's grandmother. I think, I think she shared that on our show. So I think it, it's Michigan that they have to go to for the funeral. John dropped the link for tomorrow's show. Oh, thanks, honey. Somebody's got some bass outside. Oh, what happened to my bird sounds? Oh, yeah. There we go, I got it started again. <laughs> hmm. What to work on now? Is anyone crazy like me and usually has two glue guns going <laughs> at one time? Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't done that, but I can imagine. One one glue gum is enough for me. Well, because sometimes you, when you work on a project, you run out of glue. And you, you don't have time to reload when you're on a, a mode. Yeah. 
exactly. That's that's a good idea. I see you have a um, a tart tin there. I love crafting with tart tins. Yeah, I'm gonna make these as bases for you know how I like to do those assemblages. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna try to use these as bases. I seen how you did yours with ornaments. Mm hmm. I haven't done that before. Yeah. But yours aren't this tiny, are they? Aren't yours a little bigger? These are tiny. I don't know. Um, where do I have it? I have this one hanging out right here. Oh, yours now. Yours looks more aged. I like that color. Yeah. It's kind of pitted a little bit. There are ways you can age them if they're too shiny. But do you use a glue gun to glue your items in there or E6000? E6000 if it's going right to the metal. Okay. Um, if it's other stuff, I can use the glue gun if it's more porous. Gotcha. Yeah. I have to keep that in mind. I have never uh, worked at. Uh, never use these really yeah i have several that i've picked up over the years and want to use up um soon so but yeah they're they're fun i see them for they're kind of pricey if you see them at an antique store yes mm -hmm. But then have you used cookie cutters? Because I see a lot of people use that too. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I've done that with metal cookie cutters before. Yeah. You know, I wish I could sit and craft all day. Um, I just get really sore hips from sitting too long but um gosh i would love it if i could because sometimes especially when you're going to groove and you just really get going on a project you just want to uh -huh. keep going. have you tried a like a gel cushion um i have tried different ones yeah i haven't found one that makes a difference for me but because um, it's it's about deep inside <laughs> the oh. muscles being really tight and then pressing on um there's a something called the piriformis uh -huh. that when it's tight it presses on the sciatic nerve and creates a lot of pain and so i um have seen a doctor about this and that's what they confirmed because I was I was thinking it was arthritis because I have had arthritis in my knees and have had two knee replacements as a result. But but she said, no, it's your piriformis is really tight and it's called piriformis syndrome. I guess there's a diagnosis name for it. So um, the real the only real fix or help for it is to um stretch <laughs> uh-huh and um strengthen your core muscles of course gotcha because everything <laughs> everything is helped by core muscle strengthening and you know i've had some issues with my core recently with surgeries and things so that's been a challenge for me But yeah, I can try different seating. I've bought a new chair. I did buy one of those. It's kind of like an exercise ball, but it's just a seat cushion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, tried that for a little while. Should try that again. But even my, um, my shows, you know, if I do a three-hour 
craft, not craft, um, live show where I'm selling mm -hmm. the next day, actually a couple days later, I hurt so bad. <laughs> and, um, it's like, is this worth it? it you know, like, cause uh -oh. I can't hear it later. Couldn't you just get up and stand during it? I suppose. Cause that's what I used to do. Like sometimes when, yeah, that's yeah. why I, I usually only do a two hours a max. Anything more than that, I have to stand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in between when you're not showing, you should just stand up. Yeah. So I need to do that. I need to do that. You know, when you're, yeah, because we're still used to doing, um, if we're hosting, uh -huh. just like sitting there and moving things around and typing things in and stuff. So I feel like if I get up and move around, I might miss something. So oh. I, I do struggle with that. Um, well, you don't have a mod during it? So we do have a mod now for um, for Sunday's show, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so that helps definitely. It's very nice that we have her to help. But um, if we're the host, you know, um, as far as moving the camera, you know the you know the things. Mm. We don't have it all set up, especially with three of us. For Streamyard, you can invite one person to be the administrator. Yeah, but not all three of us. So. Well, if you guys type in your banners ahead of time. Uh-huh. Yes. That's, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> that is helpful. Yes. You know what? That means that you have to be organized ahead of time. <laughs> 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 and we're not all, um, as far as the three of us, not all organized ahead of time. It's a learning experience. Was that you, Kathy, for finding us a mod? Did you find us, De Deanna? Because she didn't mention that. All right. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. It's already afternoon. It's already 12, 12. Oh. Yeah, you got to get going to noodle. Hmm. I can go in about half an hour. It <laughs> only takes me 15 minutes to get there. Do you need to get up and stretch a little? I do. That's a good <laughs> idea. I'll get up and stretch. Yes. Now everybody breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes, get up and stretch. I don't have a lot of room to move because I have so many materials for my craft sitting here. Oh, yes, I took this out. Where does this go? Now I've, I've lost a page. Kathy um, says, yep. To uh, nice, Kathy. The mod, I think. had been doing it for Jan and Mia sometimes. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, she's a practice mod. Yeah. I guess this isn't here.
Oh, that's pretty. I know. I love this paper. It's so pretty. That looks good against this parchment. I wonder, do people scrapbook anymore? Oh, yeah, I think so. It's kind of evolved into this junk journaling. Yeah. Uh, in a lot of ways, but it's, and they do incorporate photos and things like that in here. It's not so much of a, for me, when I scrapbooked back in the day, it was about archiving the photos from my kids and different um, activities that we did. And that's similar to what some people do with junk journals. They will take a junk journal that's already pre-made and they'll turn it into um, something that kind of documents their trip. So it's, it's very much just like a scrapbook. Oh, I love making scrapbooks of places I've traveled to. Yeah. Yeah, Deanna is very generous with her time. Um, doing the modding for us is very, I, I think, very nice. Spending her time with us. I've tried modding before for other people, and it's not easy really have to pay attention, which is a challenge for me at <laughs> times. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of components to it. Yeah, exactly. Typing, being able to type fast. Mm -hmm. some whatchamacallits copies of an antique magazine that I have that I was going to use for part of this too. Ooh. Yeah, they're fun. Let's see, I wanted to show you. That sounds good. A whatchamacallit bar? Have you ever had one, Lee? <laughs> oh yeah, I have. Oh, wow. Yeah. Me too, Kathy. I zone out. You probably know that because you've seen me on my shows. Wow, look at all that advertisement. Mm hmm. I printed this on some label paper so I could cut it out and just stick it on. It's not super uh, sticky, though. So. Wow. You can see my printer is not very good quality here. So I'm going to try different things. Also, I took the magazine and I put it on the printer. What I could do differently is I could take a picture of it, then send it to the copier to make or printer to make the prints. Some of these um, illustrations from this magazine are pretty amazing, too. I should do that with my encyclopedias. Yes, encyclopedias are great for that. Because I have some from, like, 1800 nice. or something. Wow, those are Oh, older. my gosh, those are gorgeous. Yeah. And then look at this one, <laughs> this advertisement. Are you too fat? Just goofy, goofy stuff. And they have um, little kids' dresses, children's dresses. 
patterns, oh, fun. Butterick patterns that you could order. I think it's cool. Yeah, this magazine's especially good for people that um, are into fashion because it was a journal of fashion, culture, and fine arts. Wow, the graphics is amazing in it. 1897. Wow. That's like a, that's the style Black Dog Vintage always likes. Nikki. Yes. Yes, that's right. Nikki does love this kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. And I have that framed um, in my house, that magazine which makes a nice little storage spot for it. I can take it in and out and use it. Nice. It's great. Yeah. Then you always know where it is. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's right. I mean, I don't have many things like that that are actual antiques, so I do want to take care of it. I bought it from another reseller um, who does crafting forget who what her name was though don't see her very often what's your favorite thing you've ever crafted leanne hmm that's a tough one is it yeah i like some of the jewelry pieces that i've made i don't wear them Oh my gosh, your oh. button bracelets are uh, with the clip-on earrings. Those are amazing. Oh yeah, those are fun. Yeah, thank you. I do love those. It's like you'll never get rid of that single earring now. <laughs> they see what That's you right. change them into. That's right. Something that you might not think is very useful can then become something I don't know. I've liked a lot of my Christmas ornaments that I've made. <clears throat> I need to be like you and get little uh, handmade tags so I can tag my crafting items. I never do that. Oh, yeah. Well, the little... I don't know what I sent you or what you saw, but <clears throat> those little um, just folded index cards and then just round the corners and put a little stamp on the front. Those make um, oh. really easy, easy little cards for thank you cards. Those are fun. Oh, yeah. I have a ton of index cards from, you know, school stuff. Oh, school supplies are always fun. Mm -hmm. I'm so jealous when kids get to go back to school shopping for school yes. supplies. I know. <laughs> we, we always have had a ton of um, office supplies and my, my late husband was a banker, you know, from back in the day. And so they oh. had lots, lots of binder clips and, you know, just stamps. yeah just just so many things and notepads and just we just had a whole store of stuff in our house all right that's good enough
Are you going to have lunch before you go get noodle? Uh, I usually just grab something, take it with me. But, you know, that's smart. Maybe I should do that instead. <laughs> yeah. Lately, I've been on an oatmeal diet. <laughs> oh, really? Just because you, any particular reason? Yeah, no, just, just because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you go with what is easy. <clears throat> Cause you're, you know, you're always on a rush and it's like, I don't, I don't sit there and make shakes when I have time. So mm -hmm. oatmeal is the fastest thing to make, but I make my own oatmeal oh, and my family good. thinks it's so weird. Not, I don't, wouldn't think it's weird. Well, it's not your traditional American kind of oatmeal. It's like, oh, it's like if egg drop soup married oatmeal. <laughs> oh, I see. But it's more sweet than savory. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a fun thing with oatmeal. You can do different things um, with the toppings and, and mix-ins. Yes. I, I kind of eat like that. I like that kind of thing. Mm. Maybe I want to do solid I just realized this is this project's going to take me a while. <laughs> Yeah, but you'll get inspired in between and then you'll come back to it. Yeah. I learned that there's always so many projects you want to craft, right? Mm -hmm. So I started putting items together in a Ziploc bag. Yes. And then so smart. when I'm ready to craft it, like, you know, then I grab one and I can start working on it. Yeah. Yeah, get your that's half the half the battle, the right? Battle is getting <laughs> your stuff together. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's what some uh, junk journal people I've seen um, do. They will just gather things, you know, ahead of time that they see that'll work for what their project's going to be. And then it's all together. I kind of did that with my daughter's um, the junk journal oops, that I'm making for her the, out of the Haunted Mansion book. Oh, oh how yeah. fun is that? So I, I put together like some brooches and some lace and little different decorative papers. This is going to be the spine. Oh, wow. Um, some lace and stickers trims things like that this happens to be the same blue as this so i thought i'd i think it's in the book too i did not know they made a haunted mansion one i know this is That's a fairly re cool. recent one this is 2021 it's just about some kid the stories about some kids that go to disneyland and they um dare their friend to go in by himself and ride the ride. And um, it's pretty cute. That would be fun. I wonder, do they still have that ride? Oh yeah. It's one of the, one of the earliest and one of the most favorite ones at Disneyland. And they have versions of it at all the Disney parks, like, um, my daughter's been to the Paris one because she studied abroad. So 
That's a fun one. I'm kind of more excited about doing this than I am about this project. <laughs> so, Let's start on that then. I should. I should start on this. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait, but I don't think you have much time. And I, right, I'm not going to do it now, but yeah, maybe if, I was, I'm trying to make videos for the junk journal, I'm trying to make videos that I can put on my channel, the um, little golden book junk journals. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why I'm saving that, but I do want to make sure I get it done before we go to LA in July. So I need to start working on it. Yep. Yep. Well, the chat's been quiet. We must, they must not have much to say. Maybe Kathy fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that or they're all crafting too. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Hope everyone's having a productive day, enjoying their day. The sun came out. That's positive for me. It always helps me. Because I've done it where I watch your videos and I comment, I comment back to the video, but I'm like, wait, I'm not typing it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like she can't hear me. That's right. Usually when people say hi to me, I'll I'll give this away. When I say hi in the chat and people say hi, I usually say hi verbally back. Right. I, I type it in too, but especially if it's the host, you know, I go, hi. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I do the same. Hi, Caroline. Yeah. Now I know why <laughs> you say my shows are early on Fridays, because that's super early for you. Yeah, I don't get up early. I might be awake and be up, but functioning is a whole nother thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and two hours earlier than you, so. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Yeah. You know, you should ask, uh, is it Mark or Mike? I can't remember. One of the guys do craft. Really? That's cool. Yes. That's one of their little secrets. So you should ask one of them one day. Yeah. Oh, good. I will ask. I'll ask tomorrow. Kathy says, I'm staring at cardboard. Yeah, this, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I think that's why all, all of us like to watch other crafters. Because mm -hmm. you do, you do have something very exciting you want to use. And then you watch other crafters to inspire you to do something with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. Well, I do think I probably should go eat something before I go. That is a good idea. Um, that way I don't have to rush as much and I can be a little bit more nutritious with my choices. And stretch. Don't forget to stretch. Stretch. Yes. Stretch it out. So I want to thank you for joining me very, very much. Thanks for having me. And I bet everyone here is familiar with you, but just in case, I'm going to put in your link to your channel in case anybody wants to go over and subscribe. Maybe, maybe we have lurkers, who knows? Um, but yeah, every Tuesday, I'm going to try to, since I do have that time constraint where I have to leave to go see Noodle, I'm going to try to come on earlier try to be more of a morning person as we go ahead and uh, get into the summer and the sun comes up earlier. So, uh, Leanne, I think you highlighted a comment by accident. Oh, sorry. You're yes. fine. Yes. Whoops. Thank you. I did. <laughs> Thank you for having me. If you guys come by my show on Friday, you'll get to see all fun things. <laughs> Cute. Let's see if I can get the right screen. Oh, you're fine, Leanne. Oh, I just wanted to make you big. 
in case you wanted to show anything. Oh, that's just pieces. They're not all assembled. The only thing I really accomplished was a keychain. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing I accomplished. Really? Everything else is in pieces, bits and pieces. Do you, are you like me? I really like instant gratification projects, things that I can like, like beading bracelets and things like that. Yes. That's why done. I like making memory wire bracelets because mm -hmm. you could do them fast. Like the ones that you do, the, the elastic, I still cannot master. Oh, yeah. I cannot master that. Yeah. The, yeah, the trick is just to get the the knot to stay. Yeah, that yeah. I've never mastered. Yeah. But you have talent that you could do that. But yeah, my memory wire bracelets are just, you could just zip, zip, zip. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yes, I've made those in the past. I think they're so fun. Yes. And then you yeah. don't have to. There's no clasp. It's easy to put on. No, and you know what? I because these are so strong, I hook it onto my purse strap, and I oh. hold my keys. Oh, in, inside my purse. Oh, inside my purse. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. You know how you're always track. looking for your uh, yes. keys. Yeah. It's like a fashionable kind of carabiner and yeah, you know, little <laughs> attachment. That's neat. And then yeah. yeah, if you need a little um, you know, adornment. Uh, that day, if you forgot to put on some jewelry, you just put it on or vice versa. So Exactly. Thank you for having me, Leanne. Thank you. Well, any anytime you feel like it, just let me know because I'm always coming on. Um, like I said, I usually don't do StreamYard, but I can I can set that up fairly quickly okay. um, last minute. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming and commenting. I appreciate it. Kathy, we appreciate you. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up for Leanne. Thank you. Yes. Thumbs up is helpful. All right. Everybody have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks, Caroline. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh, sing us out. <laughs>